the Sonata Roma. Hello everyone, welcome to Brian Unbox. In this video, we're gonna look at the Sonata Roamer electric bike. This is how it comes in when it's delivered. There's a decent amount of foam and plastic padding protecting the bike. It does require some assembly and the user guide walks you through the process. With the bike, you get the charger, pedals, tools, and user guide. Highlighting the assembly process, basically you have to install the handlebars, install the front fender, front wheel, the pedals, install the front light, install the rear rack, the rear light, attach the seat, adjust the display angle, and adjust the brakes if needed. Briefly going over some specs, the bike has an aluminum alloy frame, a foldable design, 1000 watt brushless rear motor, a 48 volt 14 amp hour lithium ion battery which is removable and it takes 5 to 7 hours to fully charge a large backlit LCD display 5 pedal assist levels twist throttle 30 to 55 mile range a Shimano 7 speed shifter front light, rear light and a horn front and rear fenders the bike weighs in at 69 pounds with a max load of 330 pounds the ideal rider height is 510 to 66 and here's a look at the overall dimensions. A walk through around the bike, you'll see that the front has a front light, front horn, front fender, suspensions, 26 by 4 inch tires, and mechanical disc brakes. Towards the middle and the back, you have the battery, battery keyhole, rear suspension, kickstand, and mechanical disc brakes. A view from the rear, you can see the rear fender, rear light, and the rear rack. On the other side, you can see the 1000 watt rear motor, 7 speed cassette, and rear derailleur. And by the middle section, you can see the folding lock mechanism. Looking at the handlebar area, you have the brake levers, horn and lights button, the controls, LCD display, twist throttle, and gear shifter. Powering up the display, you can see that the numbers and icons are large and easy to read. Pressing the M button will cycle through the odometer, trip, voltage, and time. Pressing the up button will increase the pedal assist levels 1 through 5, and pressing the down button will decrease the levels. The light button will activate the front and rear lights. And this is how the horn sounds like. And finally, this has a walk assist feature. Just press the down button for a few seconds until you see the icon and the rear wheel activates. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this bike is a little bit larger. Um, the ideal height uh, recommended is 5'10 to 6'6. Um, typically, with a lot of the folding bikes, you have 20 by 4 inch tires. This has 26 inch by 4 inch tires. Um, I have the seat at the lowest position. I'm 5'10", and you can see, uh, you know, it's a pretty uh, tall bike. So just keep that into consideration, uh, your height, when uh, you're looking at this uh, bike. Now folding the bike um, is pretty easy. Uh, you have this uh, folding uh, mechanism here. So basically, you just uh, push this button. It has the open position, so just push it out, and then you can pull the lever lever out and then uh, it's just a matter of folding folding the bike just move the kickstand and uh, you can fold it down here and there you go so you can uh, easily transport it put it in the back of your your truck SUV and then uh, the battery here is also removable, so you just need to unlock it with the key and you can uh, slide the battery out. Now I'll show some footage of the bike in use. I'll test it out on rough terrain, show the different pedal assist levels, throttle, test the brakes, see how it does uphill, downhill, and then give my thoughts. Now I'm going to do the uh, rough terrain test. I'm going to take it down this uh, trail. It's pretty bumpy. Then I'm going to take it into the grassy area. And there's a sand volleyball court there. I'll take it into the sand and see how it 
how it does. Now this again has the uh, fat tires. It has the front suspension forks with a lockout feature. I have that currently off so the suspensions will be working. And then it also has the uh, rear suspensions. So uh, let's see how it does. All right, here we go. All right, so far so good. It's uh, absorbing the, pump, the bumps pretty well here. Going through some of the gravel. All right, now I'm gonna take it into the grass here and into the uh, sand. All right, uh, doing well. Handled that pretty good. Now I'm gonna do the uh, pedal assist test. Uh, this has five levels of uh, pedal assist. Um, I'll start off with level one, then uh, go all the way up to level five and see how fast each level goes. Um, after we do the uh, pedal assist test, we'll just use the twist throttle and we'll test that out. Okay, so here we go, pedal assist one. Okay, we're at about six miles per hour on pedal assist one. Moving to two. You can feel the gradual uh, power. We're at a 12 now. Moving to three. 18. Moving to four. We're at 24. And moving to five. 29, 30. Okay, so it looks like it hit 30 on pedal assist five. Okay, so with the uh, pedal assist test, we hit 30 miles per hour. It had a nice uh, gradual uh, bump in speed as we moved it up in the assist levels. Now I'm gonna do the uh, throttle test only. So. Um, let's see how fast it goes. Again, this has a twist throttle. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're at 18, 20, 24, 25. So we hit 26 now, 27, all right, so it looked like it, it topped off at uh, 27 miles per hour with the throttle. Now I'll test out the brakes. I'll take it to max speed and once I come into view, I'll hit the brakes and you can use the parking lines as reference. Now I'm gonna do the uphill test. We're gonna take it up this, uh, this street here. It has a nice uh, gradual incline and let's see how it holds up. So with the throttle, uh, we maxed out at about 27 miles per hour. Let's see if it could uh, come close, maintain that speed or you know if we lose some speed. I'm just gonna use the throttle. Okay, uphill test, here we go. Okay, we're at uh, 20, 22, 23, 25. All right, we're beginning to climb here. Looks like we're holding 23. Losing a bit of speed, 22. Okay, let's see how it does in this turn.
All right. So going uphill, it uh, maintained about 23 miles per hour. We did lose just a little bit of speed, um, but it, it felt strong uh, throughout and was able to, to handle it. So 23 miles per hour is not bad. Now I'm gonna go do the downhill test. Um, we're definitely gonna pick up some speed like usual. I'm gonna have to slow it down as uh, we approach that turn. Okay, so downhill test, here we go. All right, we're at 21, 22. All right, gonna let it glide here. Going a little bit too fast. All right, we're at 23. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty point eight. Here are my thoughts on the bike. The assembly was straightforward and the user guide walks you through it, and I had no issues. The build and quality of the bike is solid. It's large and it has a beefy look, just like the Herald Pro. It's not like the more common folding bikes with 20 by 4 inch tires and are compact. This is a full frame with large 26 by 4 inch tires and it folds. There were no scratches or imperfections with the paint. It has a bright blue accenting throughout and the rims are blue as well. Cable management is very organized. It runs through the frame and nothing sticks out. I like the front and rear fenders along with the rear rack. The front light is bright and the horn is very loud. The ride was very comfortable. The saddle is wide and soft. There were no rattles, vibrations or noises and the steering felt stable. The handlebars are a good length and height and folding the bike is simple and easy. It handled the rough surfaces with no issues and you had the front, rear suspensions and the fat tires to get you through that terrain. The 1000 watt motor was strong Acceleration is gradual and you will be up to speed in no time, whether you are using a twist throttle or the pedal assist. It was able to handle the inclines with slight speed loss. Initial acceleration, the motor is a bit loud but it will level off as you gain speed. Using the pedal assist, I was able to reach 30 miles per hour. With the throttle only, I reached 27 miles per hour. It also has an estimated range of 30 to 55 miles. It will also depend on the pedal assist level throttle usage, weight, and environment that you're in. The brakes were adequate and had decent stopping power, but I would have preferred to have seen hydraulic brakes. The LCD display is large and easy to read, very intuitive and it doesn't get washed out in the sunlight. Overall I feel this is a versatile bike. It can handle a variety of terrains and it has good power. On top of that you have the folding flexibility for ease of transport and storage. So that is my review of the Sonata Romer electric bike. If you like my video, go ahead and hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, this is Brian Unbox. Take care everyone.